Hi and welcome back. Uh, I hope that you have successfully finished modeling the charge. I did. Uh, of course, everything uh, can be done as in many different ways, and, and of course, I could have uh, make an approach with more details in some areas, but I think that at that level uh, it would be okay. When I check the model here, I see that it uh, basically works as expected. And when we make Control P for a preview, I am quite satisfied with the with the definition of the geometry that we have. So when we need to make a, a kind of movement for making a transition here that would obviously make a really good effect so <clears throat> in this lesson we're going to check all the all the points from the render project because we have been rendering projects but we did not explain them very well so on the first point we, we have the option to choose depth. Depth is the recommended format uh, file for, for representing the geometry in KR panel. This is a format that can be used in line, the send, or by pressing that, it would generate uh, an extra file and link it to the send. STL uh, is a standard 3D format which is quite fast and quite light but at the same time it produces unnecessary information um, and, and, and therefore it, it size is bigger than the depth which is a really optimized format that have been developed for that. Then we have dead map image that uh, in that case we're gonna select and the depth map image, of course, it will be a equirectangular image uh, representing the depth of what we have been drawing. In fact, we're going to select also STL so we can check the, the format. Then here we would have convert to cube, which would... Uh, which, of course, is converting the, the equirectangular that we have to, to cube. Uh, we can select multi res which is by default or we can just unselect it and and define what cube size we want uh, as you have seen just by entering on one side of course as it's a, a square it, it, it would um, use the same size on the other side uh, KR panel project which can be already encrypted and the navigator plugin is a is a plugin that mm, in that project it doesn't have many sense because we only have one panorama but it's a plugin that allows us to 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 jam or to walk around the tour very easily we will take a look at that later on okay so we just render we press multi res we have depth map image we have stl and we have depth so we just render here we have a resume of what we are going to to be rendering so just render it might be processing the images yes it is So once that finish, we're going to check what we have. Okay, so we have our panels, which in that case we only have one, and we have the depth file, the STL file, the TIFF file, which would be as said the depth map as an image. Then we have the typical structure of a panorama in multi-res and we have 
uh, the main project which includes the navigator plugin in that case web vr context menu frame per second and at the same time it includes the project 3d.xml that we are just going to open that and here we see the definition of the of the sen in that case as we have chosen depth and this one is the recommended and the one by default it's defining its depth map from the depth file enable to true etc so if you like we can we can open that and here we see the definition of all the points that we have been using if you want to go further there is another video explaining how how does that work but we can just believe it works the STL we can also open it and as you can see there is a lot of more information so we have phase normals vertex and phase so we can easily check that the STL it's 45 kilobytes and the depth is just six so there is quite a big reduction and the TIFF of course it's less than ideal because it's 1.7 megas but yeah you can see a representation of, of what we have been drawing in a correct angular depth map file okay so we have seen a little bit now i just want to show you another option which which is using the inline method and as we will see now it's very fast because we already have now we still have the depth file here because we already created but when we go to project 3d where we have the definition of the scene instead of having the depth attribute from the scene with a new URL mm, pointing to that file what we have here is already a database 64 format file with all the definition of the geometry here so this is quite ideal if you don't want to have extra files and you want to have it all together in a single in a single file which obviously it's very easy to encrypt it and to protect it so now we have the same file but just having an encryption and so our geometry is well protected so i hope on one side you have enjoyed drawing this i know that sometimes you can get a little bit nervous because there is quite a lot of geometry and sometimes it's a little bit difficult but at the end the reward i think it's quite enjoyable so on that side i hope you have enjoyed learning and modeling this and that you have already learned all the parameters that we can get from the render so now we should just execute what we have done here i have a lot of parameters from the navigation plugin which as i told you we are going to define in another video and yeah we can just select walking and just enjoy walking on our charge okay so see you bye